Hello, welcome to Ghost Prime Transformers Reviews. I'm Ghost Prime, and this video will be taking a look at War for Cybertron Kingdom Megatron. Now this guy is out in stores right now as of this video, or just starting to come to stores, and he is fantastic. He is a leader class figure, which goes around the same size scale as the previous leader classes, but he has actually a lot going on for him. He's done up in these beautiful colors. He's got some amazing face sculpt and just sculpted detail in general. There are a couple little weird things I think on mine that I wish maybe not would like to change, but you know, as pretty much everything, he's not perfect, but he's pretty damn close. So without any further ado, let's get to the review. All right, and first things first, we'll take a look at the packaging. It is a very large box. You see it has a small window, has a wonderful Wonderful rendering of Megatron on the side and on the front. Surprisingly, I think the toy looks better than this. It's one of those rare instances I actually like the toy better than this, the side rendering here. Uh, that is really, really cool. And see the Earthrise on this side. Of course, the product shot on the back. This actually makes him a lot more pink than he looks actually in real life. On the top, we have, similar to the Septagon logo, we have a... That looks like a Predacon logo there. And some of the little, you know, the disc pieces. Of course, inside the package, you don't have any of these uh, plastic bits. You have this new type of cardboard here. And which we have is a card. And then on the back, it's taped up. I happen to open this up a little bit to slide it out. And in this box, we have... So you can barely see it with all this light. It's black arachnia, and you could peel it off to reveal, I guess, the fate of the character, which has a image of black arachnia here with some Cybertronian writing at the bottom. Of course, you do get instructions. Now, my instructions looks like they should be folded here, like the rest of the instructions. Maybe this was misfolded. I don't know if this is just mine, but of course, it doesn't matter. Again. Clear instructions, you got the green and the grays printed on both sides. And of course, the reason we're here, Megatron himself. All right, now that we have the camera centered on this, centered on this guy a little better, check him out in robot mode. Give him a little turn here. He does have a bit of a backpack, but I don't mind it too much. Now these pieces here, this is how they say to go in the instructions. I actually like to put them up like this. In this fashion, I think it, I mean, while it makes it look big, I do think that he looks a little better from the back and on the front. I don't know, miles may vary on that. Let's see if I can get him to stand up, there we go. But he is just looking Great. Now, I can see some of this detail on his chest here, if I can get it in focus. There we go. It's got a ton of robotic detail. One of the things that I did kind of get surprised about is all this detail, like all this stuff here, is very angled. Even his 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 torso here, instead of being rounded, it, it's a very sharp edge. It has a lot of sharp, very, very hard looking edges to him. Uh, which is different than I'm used to a Megatron, a Beast Wars Megatron, um, you know, seeing on a Beast Wars Megatron. Now, he does have his, his tail piece. And this, this piece does not come off. It is stuck to his arm. I guess it looks like it might be pin. I'm not really sure. I don't know if there's some way to modify it to get that piece to be removable. I think that would be great if this piece was removable so you could, you know, kind of make, I guess, be a parts former at that sort of, at that time. But... Either way, it's not too bad. I like it. I like the way it looks. And of course, you get his dinosaur head here. And he just looks great. He looks really good. Let's get up close on that head sculpt. He has a Predacon logo on the top of his head crest right there. And you can see his nose is painted. He got eyes are painted red. It's like kind of like a grimaced face. He looks really killer. Really like it. Very much like it. You see all the different, the detail going down into his feet, in his legs, the little pieces, the little guns here on the side of his, on his, on his hips. Just a fantastic looking figure. 
So before I get into articulation, uh, one thing that I would like to do is do some quick comparisons. Here he is compared with leader class Siege Ultra Magnus. So you can see he is that leader height scale, uh, the new scale they have, which honestly works really well for him. Here he is with Megatron from Earthrise. You see how they kind of go, you know, height together. It'd be really cool to see them fight in the uh, Earthrise, or sorry, Kingdom series. Here he is next to the, I believe this is the 10th anniversary with the new head, but this is basically the original repainted with a new retooled head of the original Megatron from Beast Wars. So you can see the height there. He's a little bit taller, but he's got about the same width, relatively the same size. Again, this is something I think is very cool. Now getting into articulation here, his shoulders, this shoulder can go all the way around. We gotta move the arm out just a tad to get around the backpack. His shoulder can go up this high, that far down. He does have a, uh, I guess a little bit more than 90, about 90 at the elbow. It can also go backwards. That is due to uh, uh, articulation in dyno mode. He has the pincher, which is articulated. Now, this is something that's very weird. He has his hand is on a joint, his wrist there. That's all it could do. Uh, I'm not really sure why. Maybe you could put it like that, kind of to hold a gun. Maybe that's the idea, because he sort of can. Uh, the other arm is similar, but he has a little bit of this movement. Uh, again, probably articulation for dyno mode. Again, 360. He has the more than 90 at the elbow. He has a jaw opens like this, about that far. Waist articulation. Waist could go 360 degrees. Legs go up that far. Back pretty good. I get the head out of the way so you guys can see it here because it's really not making my camera focus very well. Look at that far. Knee. About 90. Now he's got some toe rockers, front, forward, and back, and ankle side to side on either side. Oh, and he does have, uh, I would like to say thigh articulation, but it's not thigh. He's got it at the knee. So a couple things about this guy. One is he is compatible with the blast effect pieces. So you could put, here's a blast effect. If you take the dino head, there is a port on the inside that you could plug the blast effect in and you could get him in a nice pose to where he's firing off at some maximals, or maybe in this case, Autobots, we will see. So another thing that I really wanted to get up close on to mention was all these pieces here, all of this, the dyno exposed parts are made out of rubberized plastic. And if you look right here, if I get real close up on it, you could see that there's these, this all piece is a hard plastic and this piece is, is rubberized on the outside. So all of, it's weird, it has this like almost a, a skeleton here of hard plastic that's that the, it's almost like skin wrapped around it that kind of brings a whole new dimension to this. Uh, it's really neat. It's really neat the way they did it and it works, but it does mean that it might not always work great. Like if you notice on this, uh, heel or sorry, heel, uh, hip gun, it, it's kind of off where this one's not, I might be able to heat that, press it back on. I'm not really sure. Uh, but it's, it's, it's kind of a neat thing, neat little gimmick because it almost feels like a skin over robotic parts, which I think is rad for being this guy, I think that's really cool. And he stands up really well. Getting into transformation, he is a little fiddly. He's a lot of panels. He is a uh, shell former. So you just kind of got to explode him. So I'm gonna try to go through a transformation as quickly as possible here. Okay, so first things first with transformation. We're gonna take him. He has waist right here. And I'm gonna move this out of the way so I get my hands in there. I'm gonna yank, it's, he stays together really tight. Ugh. I almost feel like you're going to break them, but pull out, up, oh, like that. And you could get them right apart. So as you can see in here, it has some clips that actually just 
peg right into there. And he stays super tight. And there's a hinge in there that he's two different hinges. So you can hinge it this way and this way. And what I'm going to do now is you take his crotch, let's put that open, and then take these, oh, these are also very tough, around, like this, and push it like that. So they kind of make a wide stance like this. His head, now that you have it up and off here, you could actually stick his head and put that all the way back, around and in. So you have this. So there is this little tab right there. And then on the side, you'll see a little slot. So what you need to do is kind of line those up. Now you, you kind of see how this is on a hinge and these need to get lined up. It is very difficult for me to do um, on mine. Let's see if I can get that in there. Sometimes I got to fiddle with it for a minute, but I can see if I can just line it up correctly there. <clears throat> Press it in, there we go. You hear that snap? Oh, that was tough. I'm afraid I'm gonna break it by doing over too many transformations on this or wear it down because it's super, super tight. Um, then we take his little guns for his thighs there, move them around on both sides. You can see there's a like a hexagonal peg there. And don't pull it up by this, this is soft rubber. Pull it up by the, the gun pieces and it just sort of, it's loose so it just kind of falls around and then tightens real tight in there. So probably should have done this earlier. Take his, his this will be his tail on his pincher and you're gonna move this whole piece all the way around like that. I'm just gonna get the legs out of the way because this probably should have done this a little earlier, but you take his, these side pieces here on this double hinge, move this up and there's these tabs. So this tab, We'll go under this piece right here. Get that real close. This tab right here goes under this piece when this flips around. And these tabs right here tab into the slot right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and push this down and then get that tab under there and snap that in like, like that. So you have something that looks like that. And you do that for both sides. There. There we go. I'm gonna take his legs, move his legs down and around and focus the camera. So we have, right now we have something that looks like this. Take his head, turn it around, go ahead and put it like that. And then what we want to do is start kind of getting this ready here. So you, his backpack piece, which is right here, kind of untwist that. And again, when you open that up, you can see that inner skeleton with that rubberized plastic on the outside and the hinges. And it has these little pieces here. Now these are on springs. So you want to move that up and then move it down like that. And you do that for both sides. So just kind of, here it is from the other side. Kind of extend it out. Move this flap up, push it down. And there's tabs. So tabs on this side here go into this side. And just kind of tab those. They will come apart, so just kind of put it there for right now before you tab everything in. Make sure you slide the head back into position. Take these leg pieces, kind of grab them by up up here. Um, again, you could really see the, the the skeleton with the uh, or I guess the the skin around the exoskeleton, and kind of align them to the legs. You have the legs here. Move this piece back. There are these two pegs or two holes for the pegs to go from the legs on, and you line those up. Snap it in on either side. Make the legs in place. Move the skin down around there on the leg. And on the thigh, you move that for both sides. Like that. Make sure that's all pegged in. Take the arms, move them down. And then, make sure you get his legs someplace so you can stand them up. There he is in his T-Rex form. And he looks pretty damn good, if I do say so myself. I, I like this T-Rex. He definitely takes more of a realistic looking T-Rex, maybe not in color. Oh, see, there's his chest, told you, it comes apart. I'm gonna snap that right back. That is one of the drawbacks that his chest does like to pop apart. Um, 
But he looks really good in this mode. I think even if he is like full of panels, I think he looks pretty damn good. Um, for his tail, you can move it kind of like this and like this. He does have some articulation. The other articulation in the hips, back this far and up this far like this. So look from the actual side, so probably get a better idea of it. Back and forward. And he does have a knee bend. The knee does kind of break the break the uh, mold a little bit. Uh, break the. It just doesn't look right. It almost looks like he has a, a bony knee sticking out there, which is a very odd choice for a color for the knee. His head, which can also move, so you kind of move this way and this way, and these are supposed to snap back. You kind of see me. This one does a little better. See how it goes like this, like this. That's kind of a cool little feature. I think it's cool. You could look up. And a little bit down and of course the mouth will still open and you could also make him breathing fire I just stand him up and we could do some uh, comparisons all right here he is with the original beast wars megatron as you can see besides the color which this one is obviously recolored but they are a very similar size to each other of course the, the 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 new one being being much more accurate to a real t-rex see if i can get this guy to stand up you can see kind of how they look together. It's very similar sizing. I like that he's a very similar size to the original. And in sort of a, a different sort of type of comparison, here's how tall he is in dino mode against Megatron from Earthrise. So you kind of get an idea of height on just scale on the app, you know, the dinosaur mode itself. So he does transform into a fairly large dinosaur. And here he is next to Siege Prime. So he's quite a bit bigger. Maybe even real life scale. So one last quick look before our final thoughts on this guy. Just a very cool figure. Love the eyes. Check out those eyes and that face sculpt. All the detail work on the skin looks really cool. A couple little problems where like the, the chest doesn't like to stay in all the way. This is the arm kind of droops down a little bit as you can see. Um, overall though, I think it's very cool. Uh, very cool indeed. Yes. So that was a look at Kingdom Megatron from the War for Cybertron line. This guy has a lot going on for him. He is really cool to the point to where I, I mean, I don't have the masterpiece, but this is close. He's got that real weird sort of rubberized plastic on the outside, almost like a skin, which is, it, it's, it's interesting actually how they did this, how the, the construction of this figure, not all the panels, really fits super well but it, it doesn't it doesn't really make that much of a difference to me i do have this one leg that slightly loose that's not terrible uh this little piece here that kind of is coming off the rubber i don't know i might be able to take it off and put it back on his articulation everything's pretty good with him um i i think he looks amazing on just the posability is pretty decent overall i could highly recommend this if you at all like Beast Wars or even Megatrons. I collect Megatrons, so this one is definitely going up there with the Megatrons. Oh, I don't know, they are killing it with this line so far. So if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. Hit the thumbs down vote button if you have to. Subscribe, I'll see you guys next time. Cheers to the subscribe and ring the goddamn bell.